Hello, welcome back to MED, and we've got a cool new kit. So it's a cam timing cover kit to go over the standard type vernier chains. That's the one. And Steve's going to show us how it fits. Okay. I'm not going to go too in depth in this, but uh, this is how we go anyway. Firstly, gasket. It's a standard then, gasket. Yep, stop gasket. And then we have our alloy timing plate. Now the beauty of this is it has captive studs in here so you can't actually rip the threads out of the standard steel plate they've got a head on that side thread on that side so we'll pop that on so there we go do you have to use this kit with the no aluminium it will plate? fit with the standard plate but obviously we're fitting it with this just to show you how nicely everything fits yep okay so can then have the triangle the triangle thrust plate just pop the screws in And that's there. a standard one, just reuse that. Yep, standard one, you can either reuse your original or we keep the new ones. Just give it a good clean. These are all new, so we just pop those in. You've got the two Allen Gansen screws to clear the duplex. Okay. Which go in just there. Okay, now we just pull that down while we're here. We'll just pop an Allen key in. Won't tighten it up too much. Okay, so we're nearly there. We use button heads in the triangular plate just to give clearance underneath the vernier duplex. Okay, here's the steel alloy duplex, aluminium hub, steel gear tracks. Very, very popular item that we sell. It's ideal uh, for kind of fast road engines. Yeah, but even race engines. We've taken the keys out of these two um, Hubs just for ease of assembly, he says. And now, let's just get that one on there. It can be a bit tight to go on. Here we it's go. always best to check this before you come to put all this together as an assembly. There we go. So that one's on now. I'm not going to put the nuts on there, but that's how it fits. Next thing is the gasket. This is the gasket for just here. I noticed that's an earlier type, so it's an A series type rather than A plus. You don't need the tensioner. Here is the aluminium sidewall housing cnc machined that's pretty cool yeah okay so and i suppose it's got a flat surface underneath so it makes a real nice I'm not going seal. to get any oil leaks at all from this this will sit perfectly on there yeah this is the top face and when we put the top cover on you will see that the oil seal sits perfectly square to the crankshaft so you won't have any problems so on we go with that There's three Allen, four Allen screws that go in there, 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 and just there. And these all come with the kit? These all come with the kit. There are six little nuts and spring washers to go on the studs, which again come with the back plate. So they will fit there. I'm not going to put all of those on, otherwise we'll be here all day. So that's got that in position. To stop the oil leaking through the lid, there's no ring. So this O-ring sits basically in here. It's a nice fit and you will need to just give it a little bit of a stretch to get it to fit and grease is always a good idea on this. So you'll see, just run your fingers around. Once you put a bit of grease on it, it will stay in position. Okay. Okay, we'll just pop that back out for now just to save a lot of mess Got it. with grease. Here's the lid then. So what you'll notice on here is we put a hole in here this is to relieve the pressure from inside here, which is created from the pressure inside the crankcase, which comes up through the hole there into here. So this is on here now. Okay. The O-ring sealed it, but we've got pressure in there. This will relieve the pressure to atmosphere. Okay, so here are the screws. I'm just gonna pop a couple in just to give you a, a visual. So we'll put one in there, one in there. Don't clamp it in place yet. Right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a crankshaft pulley in. It's not a standard stock one. This is a management one because I want to show you something else that we've done while we were making this. So if you run in without a distributor, yep. you need one of these. This now, once you push this in, will centralise the oil seal on there. Now, once you've got that in, now is the time to tighten these up because now you know the crankshaft is centralised, the pulley is centralised on the oil seal. Okay. So now 
that's tight, that is central on the seal. Can you fit that with a standard crank damper? Yes, standard crank damper will fit on this. To get a pipe onto here, we've made this. Okay. So again, O-ring, always put a bit of grease on, pops into there. This one goes on top. Nice. With the three little screws. Again, we'll just pop one in for now. We've put an extra boss in here with a couple of holes and we've made this little bracket that takes the magnetic Morelli pickup. Got it. Okay, it's quite a generic sensor as That's well, right. isn't it? So most yeah. engine management. So if you want to pop that off again, this now will literally sit just on, on there. there. Similar to the cam belt kit. It's the same bracket actually. Just nip those up so they're in position. Pop the pulley back on. Okay, what you've got now is you've got radial adjustment around. Yeah, that's cool. So if you decide you're going to use a management that hasn't got an advance and retard mechanism within the ECU, you can advance and retard by this. Yeah. So you can go from literally this cutout yep. through to this cutout through to that cutout, which is basically two teeth. Or I suppose if you cut the wrong tooth off by accident. You've always got options. Okay, so there you have it. That's the standard kit, the belt, uh, the timing cover kit. You've obviously got the options of standard back plate or our alloy back plate. Internally, you can either use simplex, alloy duplex, steel duplex, or the race simplex. And then your pulleys, again, are completely optional. A standard pulley will fit, the MED S pulley will fit, or the management pulley will fit. So if you're not sure, just give us a call.